Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Welcome back to Eisenholm. We have a lot on the docket on this very rainy morning. First off, we're going to make a much larger farm than the tiny little one that we have because the moat around it has not captured a single little animal. That, and we're going to need far more than this paltry amount of crop. That, and I'm not a huge fan of how close the farm is to my death pit. So right over near the coast here, we have a nice, decently sized body of water, and I'm thinking this would make a prime spot. Bear. Bear. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. A prime bear spot, apparently. <laughs> I thought that was going to be a great spot for a farm. Um, nope. I, I, I don't like that. If we want to build our farm, we're going to have to take care of that bear. Which means I'm going to have to learn how to kill properly. Alright, bear. I don't like you and you don't like me. Coward. Don't you run from me, bear. Fight me like a man! Oh, your hitbox doesn't raise when you're standing? Come on. Hey, bear. We got him! We got him! First normal hunting kill. I didn't have to resort to axing. Oh, it's only bush meat, but we got some hides. Which means we can probably start making some, uh... Start making some things here. Alright. Area is secured. Now we can begin plotting out the farm. So first, I am going to fill in the bottom layer of this. Just to give ourselves a... Nice little starting point, and I will not have enough low fertility soil, so I'm just going to use as much as I can. We're going to need more dirt in the end, but that's okay. Alright, with level ground secure, let's figure out our placement for water. So we're going to want a pattern. Let's get the land around here flattened down a little bit, just to clear it out, and also give us dirt to oh, fill in the farmland. Always make sure to stop to take a lunch break. Mmm, tastes like my pockets. There we go. We've cleared out the land, and we got ourselves two and a, some change in uh, dirt stacks. So the pattern we're going to be going for is every two blocks effectively having a, a uh, water source. So we'll kind of end up with rows like so, going all the way across. Now this way we will have eight blocks surrounding water, so every single piece of farmland will be adjacent to a water source, so I guess that doesn't matter too much here where it rains pretty much all the time, especially on this very stormy coastline where there's always a little bit of a crackle of lightning, it seems. But, in case there's ever a drought, or... I don't even know if that happens. But in case we ever get not a lot of rainfall, we will have these water sources right here to keep our crops at least at 75% hydration. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in the rest of this. We are uh, one dirt shy. We're one dirt shy. You, you've been chosen as the next contestant on The Price is Right. Come on down and sit right there. 
That was the wrong spot. And so, with this, I was hoping to have this other water source right here, but hey, you know, uh, you, you sometimes you, you done goof. Now, we don't have a perfectly even amount of farmland here, and that's totally okay. It's going to give it a bit more organic shape anyway. Let's, uh, let's start tilling ground here just to see what happens. All right, we got through uh, a little bit. Let's go. Uh, let's go take a bit of a nap. As we nap a couple more hoes. Boy, we sure do have a whole lot of work ahead of us. Okay, five a.m. Let's uh, let's get on back to hoeing. Oh, back to Tillin. Now, this might be slightly more farmland than we have seeds for currently. And by might, uh, I mean I am 90% sure it is. But the nice thing is, any of the little bits of farmland that we leave to go fallow, or unplanted, they're going to grow things like, well, grass of course, but also horsetail. So we won't have to venture out into the forest over there to go get some to make healing poultices and other things like that. I might have mapped it out right for the amount of hose I was going to need. Huh. But look at that. I can count. Now, the surrounding land right here um, that's right up against it, the fences are going to be going around the crops. So, I'm going to want to push this little shelf back. Ooh, I'm going to have to be careful of where I put those birch seeds. I don't want to break that. Kind of leave them right on the edge. That'll help me see where to push back to. I want at least a uh, couple block gap, just so that when I put fences around, things can't just come up to the edge of this and walk right over the fence into the farm. There we go. That little jet out is okay. And let's just round off this corner a little bit. That's... Hmm. That's good enough for now. I'll probably end up flattening out most, if not all, of this, just to have a little bit more visibility over the ridge. But for now, let's go cut down some trees and make ourselves a few fences. Alright, so we've got our fences, we've got a couple of gates, so... Let's start fencing this off. Make it nice and safe from all the little critters who want to eat our grain and our crops of any kind. Is to keep them rabbits out. Now, for our gate placement, I'm thinking... Actually, right around here might be a good spot. I'm thinking a farmhouse right along here. Actually, maybe just connected in somewhere here. Built the house in kind of an L shape. And this will probably end up also doubling as our starter home. By starter home, I mean actual home, not the little dirt dugout that we have over there. And probably out here, access to the trees will have another gate. Probably right about there. And I think... About there, probably. For our gate in. Hey, whoa, accidental good math again. We've got two gates left, or two fence uh, posts left, so... Why don't we, uh... Do something like that. I don't know what we're gonna do with it, but... At least that marks out our entrance. Only thing left here is to go grab our seeds and get to planting. So normally with crops, we'd want to worry about our nutrient requirements on here. Uh, we've got three crops that require nitrogen, one for phosphorus and the other for potassium. Yeah, uh, one day we'll worry about it. This is... I don't think we're going to have to worry about rotation very much. We'll have the room. Now, 
There we go. A very small percentage of our farm now has some actual crops in there. All that's left is to wait for them to grow, and with all this rain, we don't even have to worry about a watering can, because these are probably going to sit at 100%, and these water pools are probably redundant. So now that we've got a few crops planted, I think the next step is not getting copper, actually. We can do that pretty soon. But I think getting some of the cobblestone from the ruins that are nearby and building a little bit of a foundation for the farmhouse, that could be good. That could be a good start to getting us out of a little dirt hovel and into something that actually looks like a home. Especially since I can make a chisel soon. <laughs> Get that in there, make a chisel, start getting the walls all pretty fancy. I'm so weird. It's funny. It's always raining right there, and yet here it's... It's always sunny. But, uh, don't, don't play the clip. Don't play the clip that's copyrighted. See, cobblestone, you can just break with your hands. So we don't even need to waste durability on our pickaxe. Hi everybody, Editing Solston here. I've got an idea for a fun little segment we can do during times like this where we're going off and gathering a whole slew of resources and not a lot of actions going on. I call it Soul Says What. If there's a line or a miniature monologue that you want to hear me say in a particular character impression or just some kind of voice, pop it down in the comments section below with the hashtag Soul Says What. Here's a few samples just to get some ideas going. Hello there, piglet. Oh, I could go for a bit of honey. Kakarot, I said I wanted to fight you. Not play duel monsters or whatever this is. What even are these cards? Would you be happier had I a good reason? You know, they say it's pretty difficult being a puppet, but uh, the guy with the hand inside of me is doing all the work. And then we bought Marvel and Star Wars. Did you know we own National Geographic? Stay a while, Lindley. The Archangel T... That's quite a treasure there you've got in that... Diablo, the Lord... Oh, no one ever wants to listen. There's a few ideas for you, so... If you want to hear anything like that, of course I do reserve the right to pick and choose depending on what's appropriate, so keep it appropriate. So if this sounds like an interesting little segment idea, let me know in the comment section below, and if there is something you want me to say in a voice, hey, hashtag soul says what? Now let's get back to picking up rocks. Let's go make it morning, and we'll come back when it's uh, a little bit safer. This medium night might not go so well for us if history is to be learned from. Okay, time to start the day. I think some of these extra bowls, I'm going to make a couple of oil lamps. Just to put around the edges of our new fenced off farmland. I have a little bit of, a little bit of jerky breakfast here. It's barely satisfying. Yeah. There we go. Just to light up the entrance there and give us a little bit more visibility on it when we're coming in, you know, on an evening where we've stayed out a little too late and we're wanting to get back home. I have a tiny little beacon of light. The light isn't going to be enough to, say, stop drifters or anything like that. We've already got horsetail growing. Haha. -ha. But for now, let's head back out. I've cleared my inventory. We got a little bit of jerky, and I saw a couple berry bushes that I didn't harvest. Let's collect the rest of the cobble from those ruins and see if there's any other vessels we've missed. Aged polished rock. Oh. Oh, happy day. All right. Yeah, yeah, we're taking this. This is going to be nice for... Oh, I don't know. Mud room. Doorway. Uh, fire pit? And we got some bony soil here, too. This is... This is great. It'll give us a little bit more texture variation. Got some aged bricks, which they're they're now calling ashlar blocks. I guess that might be a, a type of stone brick. I uh, anyone familiar with that? Sound off. You no, know I'm gonna I'm I'm taking this. I'm taking this metal barrel. Yeah, I'll take some wet, dirty gravel. All right. 
Ah, oh, this is no longer reserved for just the Resonance Archive. We can have our very own wet, dirty gravel. Just listen to that crunch. I think we've collected quite a bit. We've got a metal barrel, a stack, and then however much conglomerate cobble we've got back at the house. A couple of aged ashlar blocks. We can use those probably for door frame accents. I don't know, something where we need two of them. A few stairs. And six aged polish conglomerate rocks. As well as a little bit of gravel and a couple different variants of wet, dirty gravel. There's stony, cracked, and plain. Decent haul. Uh, not much in the way of other useful things apart from the building materials. Got a little bit of grass from the forage vessel, but that's about it. It actually stopped raining for once. As I see rain clouds coming in on the horizon. Okay. There we go. I have a nice little old barrel right here. Kind of cracked. Not in the best of shape. Maybe it was once used for holding something, fertilizer or whatnot, but keep that there. Get it out of our inventory. Make it a nice little decorative piece. All right. Shall we build a home? So, I'm thinking for the house, we're going to want to keep it away from this fence a little bit, unless we build the fence into the actual house structure itself. Might not be the worst idea. The main thing is if we were to move these fences, um, like remove these ones and just attach it to have a bit of a backyard before the farm, uh, that might not be the best idea. We'll probably want to keep the fence here, maybe just add additional fencing to connect into the house. Because, especially if there's any grass here, which for a backyard there probably would be, that's going to leave it open for spawning, you know, rabbits, chickens, anything that might come from the grass to eat our cultivated grasses. Unless anything's changed, as far as I'm aware, the grass there growing on the farmland should be okay. I don't think a, a fallow field is going to spawn any animals. If it's on grass, grass, that's where it's a problem. So let's just set the house back a couple blocks here. So let's give a two block gap. And we're going to raise the whole thing up just a little bit. Just so that it has, you know, a built foundation rather than being sunken into the ground. We're going to be able to build a root cellar in here. So that's where we'll get to get to digging down. There we go. We have a decent footprint for a little home. I'm thinking we'll have a bit of a covered area here just to, say, house, I don't know, firewood or supplies, any sort of outdoor activities. We'll extend the fence here to meet up with the wall just to have a separate fenced-in backyard. Same with we'll have a fence go there, and then these two blocks here will fill with something, probably like barrels or... Um, buckets once we can do those maybe chests i don't know some co some kind of storage or decor we will have to be careful however i'm realizing this is probably a bad idea to have here right now because it will add elevation and allow something to jump up onto it and over into the field let's give ourselves a little bit of a staircase there so this will really just be a little side bit here. You're right where I want to put, like, the side exit, man. Why you gotta do this? Well, you're not gonna stop me. I'm gonna put the exit... here. Why not? Now, I, I think for this house we should probably fill in the floor with stone. That feels the most appropriate for... I mean, the base floor of a house. Although, the first segment of wall is kind of more important to be stone. We can always make, say, packed dirt or something for the floor, and that will be, that'll be just fine. Okay, I actually want to make this slightly larger, because I want to incorporate a kitchen design that I've got. Can you not be here? Yeah, I gotta push this wall back, uh, which means those trees are gonna be growing inside, uh, which means I might just have them for sapling decoration. <laughs> that wall into there. There we 
go. Then we'll have kind of the main entryway in here. The kitchen. A little, a little uh, tiny bedroom, perhaps. We'll just put a little partition wall. Uh, the kitchen is going to be the largest portion of the inside of the house, and we'll have a little staircase down to a cellar. Uh, I might actually have a staircase that goes down to the cellar and up to a second floor for a bedroom. Yeah, I feel like this farmhouse could have a second floor, at least over maybe part of it. Yeah. For now, I'm just going to fill this with some packed dirt, just so we have a floor to stand on. And that's okay that we don't have quite enough yet. We'll, we'll figure that out. Uh, the floor likely won't stay as packed dirt, but eh, it's here in the meantime. So I want to have a nice window right here. So whatever awning is covering it, um, a lot of the stuff that we're going to be putting here shouldn't block that window there. Uh oh, I'm hungry again. As I was saying, I want a nice little bay window right kind of up here in these three blocks. So let's get... Whoop get our walls in place to at least frame that out and that will be our view when we look out from our kitchen we're gonna have some countertops here um, probably a stove here with a couple of cook pots i have an idea i'm going to need a chisel for most of the ideas i have for this kitchen area but i think it's going to look pretty nice uh, in all likelihood with how little food i have and how much i need to go forage to get more seeds to fill our farmland, and also uh, more crops to fill my belly. This will likely be a multiple episode type of endeavor, especially with all the chiseling work and some of the variety of materials I'm going to want. If there's one thing that's true, it's that beauty has a cost. The cost is time and effort, and sometimes beauty. Ironic. Now, in all likelihood, I'm going to probably take the pickaxe and grab some of the dry stone, just so I can texture up the walls a little bit, make it less samey. Uh, for some of the rooms, I may end up chiseling in different textures for the interior walls. I haven't quite decided if 100% yet, but we'll do something. We'll make it look nice. And we'll just finish off the floor here to whatever extent we can. Two blocks shy, huh? I knew how to fix that. <laughs> so the walls are starting to take shape. You can kind of see the, the frame and the idea of the house. The kitchen is going to be the predominant feature on the main floor. Basically, this entire area in here is going to be the kitchen. Uh, we'll have our little foyer area and just a small, mostly hallway that will lead to the uh, stairs going up and down. Very likely they'll have the stairs here, kind of ascend, and then you come around here, and this will be down to the basement. Other than that, it's pretty much just getting materials, and it'll start to take shape over time. Figure out something here. I do want a chicken coop, so I may set up a couple traps for chickens, and then we might go out on a hunt. But... I think that little hunting trip will have to wait until the next episode. We'll go running around, looking for ruins, seeds, any sort of things we can find, and maybe dig out some of those copper veins we found. Hmm? Get into a little bit of chiseling. Make this home look good. Well, once it's all put together and built, anyway. Anyway, thank you everyone so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Don't you talk back to me.